Dave has booked us on a Viking splash tour, a ride round the city in a 60-year-old American Army duck amphibious vehicle. Our host is Lynn the Red. It all began with an American man and an Irish woman. Um, he had seen duck tours over in the likes of Boston and over in the United States, particularly along the East Coast. And uh, he figured with the Viking history in Dublin, this was the way to go. It was the only way to do a Viking tour of the city was taking it by land and water. So got a few of these beasts into the city and started driving them around town, picked up straight away. Everybody loves it, it's a bit of fun. That little bit of history, a little bit of education in it as well. What were they intended for originally? Uh, these were built in America for the American military for use at, during World War II, particularly during the beaches of Normandy landings. They used quite a number of these to, to transport tons and tons of equipment and soldiers onto the beaches of Normandy. Mm -hmm. um, they're built by General Motors, General Motors Corporation, who are still operating over in Pontiac, Michigan to this day. Built 22,500. Now, there's only about 2,000 left around the world nowadays. Mm. And, you'll like this, <laughs> they were built by women. Oh, excellent. Woohoo! <laughs> the tours start from two points in the city. Well, so they'll be around anyway, so it's gone around to the shop. Be Good afternoon. <laughs> oh, let's try that again. Good afternoon! Good afternoon! Much better. You're very welcome on board Viking Splash Tours. I am Lynn the Red. I'm going to be your Viking guide on this raid of the city of Dublin. Now, whilst on board this vessel, you are expected to act like Vikings. The people on the streets of Dublin are now your enemy. They're called Celts. What are they called? Celts. Do we like the Celts? No. no. Oh, but we're not allowed to kill them. It's illegal. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to spend our tour terrorizing the public by shouting at them. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah. There you go. Everybody use that randomly throughout the tour to scare people. Your biggest enemy is a Celtic warship, better known as an open top tour bus. <laughs> One, two, three! Yeah. yeah! From the back of the cathedral down to the River Liffey, this area to your right hand side is called Wood Quay. This is important. Wood Quay is where the Vikings lived. The one thing that is not true about Vikings, unfortunately, are the horns. Don't get me wrong, it looks good. Vikings did not have horns on their helmets. They were not made of plastic and they were not made in China. And the Vikings, they came from Scandinavia, from Norway and Denmark in particular. And they did do a lot of nasty things in Ireland. They used to raid monasteries, kill monks, steal all their gold. They used to steal children off the coast of Ireland and sell them into slavery back in Scandinavia. It's great, isn't it? Back in the good old days. What about the two guys on the left? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. One, two, three! Ah! <laughs> Good reaction. Ah! And again, on the left, on the left, on the left. One, two, three! Ah! <laughs> it's like as if they're expecting us or something. Good night's entertainment to be had here on your left-hand side, the Arlington Hotel. Every night at the Arlington, they have live Irish dancing and live Irish music. And halfway down O'Connell Street, you're going to set your eyes upon the spire of light. Look at that. 120 meters tall. Whoa. <laughs> it weighs 133 tons. Anybody know any of the nicknames for the spire of light? I keep it clean. The stiletto in the ghetto. The bowl in the hole. The pin in the bin. The stilts in the stilts. The prod to God. Okay, Trinity College on your left hand side, founded in the year 1592 by a famous English queen. The Shelburne Hotel on the left now. I often wonder if they're doing tours in Venice saying there's a canal in Dublin called the Grand Canal. I do want to give you a little bit of a heads up or rather a heads down. We're going to be going underneath an extremely low bridge. Duck! <laughs> alright, alright. We do fit. Uh, we are going to sort you out with a few life jackets down here. Okay, you'll look ridiculous, <laughs> but you'll also float. He's <laughs> this year. All right, guys, hands in the air, two hands up in the air. 
No, we're not doing a roar. The hand in the air is for balance. Now cross your fingers for good luck. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. It's easy, watch this. He's ready? The moment you've all been waiting for. We're gonna take our 66 year old seven and a half ton truck into the water. Here it goes. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> just making sure. Wow. All right, guys, we are in the Grand Canal Basin and Rings End. Smashing, there you go. The Grand Canal Basin was dug out about 200 years ago by hand, pick and shovel. The idea of this basin of water was to create a link between the River Liffey and the Grand Canal. It was originally 22 feet deep. Over the years, with the addition of sand, silt, cars, bikes, bodies, traffic cones and rubbish, the level of the water has decreased. It's only between 16 and 18 feet in depth now, you're pleased to hear. Over on your right side, have a look at these buildings here. See the first three buildings on the water's edge? That is U2's recording studio. Current recording studio. This is where the band have recorded almost every album from the middle of the 1980s up until most recent times. There you go, top speed, six miles an hour. Woo! The development of the Docklands has been going on for close to 15 years, building new apartments. There you go, Blue has dropped into the water. And since we're not allowed to scream and shout down here, what we're gonna do to salute and show respect to our other Viking comrades is, we're gonna do the traditional Viking salute. Ready? And salute! <laughs> so there will be a bit of a bump when we hit the ramp, so hold on tight. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Good girl. Alrighty, guys, we are back out on the road again. That wasn't too hard, was it? Our crack squad of experts will be along to take your life jackets very soon. That was a good Great. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on board for this afternoon. You've been great company. One, two, three. Yeah!